So in this video, we are going to now explore simultaneous limits. In the previous video, we have discussed about repeated limits and now we are going to discuss about simultaneous limits. So how am I going to evaluate such types of limit is a question. Now whenever you get such type of a limit, firstly you should observe something in the given function and then start the evaluation process. Okay. Now if you try to look at this particular thing, it is 2xy, that 2 is a constant, it is not a big deal. So 2xy upon x square plus y square. Okay. Look at this question carefully. Now here you see the degree of x is 1, the degree of y is also 1. So when I multiply them together, the degree of the numerator is how much? The degree is 2. Correct? When I look at the at the denominator now, here the, this is a of this is having degree 2. Addition, and this is also having degree 2. So if I add the two things of degree 2, I am again going to get something which is of degree 2. It will not be of degree 4 because if I multiply them, then the degree will become 4. So when I am adding them, the degree of the denominator is how much? The degree of the denominator is also 2. So denominator and numerator both have the same degree. This is what I have observed in the first thing. Whenever such a thing happens, whenever the denominator and the numerator have the same degree, what we will do is we will simply put y equal to mx. We have to just put y equal to mx. In the next problems or the up upcoming problems, you'll understand you sometimes have to substitute y equal to mx square or you may have to substitute y equal to mx cube. Okay, so when will you substitute what? That we are going to learn in this lecture. Okay, or sometimes you may also have to substitute x equal to my square or x equal to my cube. Okay, when to do these substitutions that we will see. Now, now when will I substitute y equal to mx? I have told you if both the numerator and denominator have the same degree then I will substitute y equal to mx. You have to carefully ca do this degree calculation. You don't have to mess it, mess it up there. Okay. So when I do y equal to mx, so what will this limit now become? So limit, I'm not writing what tending to what right now. Let me first write the thing over here. So I'll write 2 into x and y is mx. So I will have mx upon x square is as it is plus y square will become what? m square x square. Now there is no y in the picture. So I will not write limit of y. I will just write what? Limit x tending to 0. Because y is completely out of the picture. So no need to write y tending to 0. Right. So now what is this? Don't directly put x equal to 0 everywhere. Otherwise students do 2 into 0 upon 0 plus 0. So they get 0 upon 0. Don't do that mistake. Simplify it carefully. So it is limit x tending to 0 of what numerator is 2mx square upon x square plus m square x square. I clearly see that from the denominator, I can pull out x square common, right? So when I put pull out x square common, what will I get? I will get x square into 1 plus m square, right? Now this x square and x square, I can cancel. Don't put x equal to 0 directly. Be careful. So what am I left with now? So limit x tending to 0 of numerator is 2m upon 1 plus m squared. So there is no x in the picture. So what will be the limit over here? The limit will just be what? 2m upon 1 plus m squared. So the final limit that I wanted to evaluate is coming to be 2m upon 1 plus m squared. So this m is any any real number. So m was so any real number that I choose here y would mx. M this m is any real number, right? So if m will change, this answer will also change. If m becomes 0, this will become 0. If m becomes 1, this will become 2 upon 1 plus 1, right? Which will become 2 upon 2, which will 1. So if m changes, this answer changes, right? So so what will I say in that case? That does this happen in a limit? This does not happen in a limit. What should be a limit? Limit must be a unique answer. Limit cannot change. Here what is happening? If m change, if, if m is changing, then answer is also changing. That is not possible. So this limit 
depends on what? Depends on M. And changes with respect to M, which I don't want. I don't want that it should change. If M changes, this changes this. I don't want. Limit is always unique. So what is the conclusion of this answer? That the limit does not exist. So this simultaneous limit will not exist. Why? Because it is depending on something which is always going to change. And therefore the limits will give me many answers if M changes. So in that case I say that the limit does not exist. Okay, let us see two to three more problems of this so that it will be clear to you. Now let us look at this problem. Limit x square y square upon x raised to 4 plus y raised to 4 minus x square y square. How will I evaluate this simultaneous limit? Look at the numerator. What is the degree of the numerator? This is 2. This is 2. So when I multiply them, the degree of the numerator is going to be how much? 4. And what is the denominator degree? Here also it is 4. I am adding with a degree 4 thing. And again I am subtracting with degree 4. Because x square y square is so here every term has degree 4. So what is the degree of this particular denominator? So that is also 4. And so numerator and denominator have the same degree. And in that case from the previous problem, what we have seen, you just have to put what? y equal to mx. And therefore this limit uh, will now only become limit x tending to 0 because y is going out of the picture now. So it is x square into m square x square upon x raised to 4 plus y raised to 4 will become m raised to 4 x raised to 4 minus x square into m square x square. Correct. Can you pull out something common from the denominator? Just look at it carefully. So here I have x raised to 4 into m square divided by x raised to 4 is common in the denominator, right? So x raised to 4 into bracket 1 plus m raised to 4 minus m square right and this x raised to 4 and x raised to 4 cancel now there is no x in the, the picture so what is the answer equal to so it will, be, it will just be m square upon 1 plus m raised to 4 minus m square and this limit depends upon what this limit depends on x so it depends on m and m will change the answer will change and therefore we can say that this limit does not does not exist right so this uh, this step is now clear to you when degrees are equal now it may happen that sometimes the degrees will not be equal then you have to look for some other criteria and try to use some different thing here we have used y equal to m square so what different thing will i take and how will i choose that so that i will get the answer let us see the next problem now. Okay. Okay. Now you have the next problem which is saying x y square upon x square plus y square. Now I start to calculate the degrees and then I will see that something is going wrong. So what is x into y square? So it is degree 1 multiplied by degree 2. So numerator has a degree total 3. Correct. And what is the highest degree over here? This is square and this is fourth power. So degree of the denominator will be how much the degree of the denominator will be 4 right because uh, highest degree is 4 and then this is quadratic so highest degree is how much 4 so this is a mismatch so now you cannot use the path y equal to mx you cannot use that trick so but i if i carefully now observe something about the numerator and denominator you will see that x raised to 1 and here you have y raised to 2 and uh, here what i am having x square and plus something like y raised to 4. You see that the ratio in which x and y are there, the, the ratio is what? The ratio is 1 and 2, right? So, means you are having the ratio of what? 1 is to 2, right? If I have x is first power, I am getting y square. If I have x is second power, then it will be, it's square, means what? Uh, means you will have the fourth power which 2 is to 4. So 2 is to 4 is the same as what? 1 is to 2. Right? x1 y2 means 1 is to 2. Here x square and y is to 4, 2 is to 4. So you see the ratio is becoming fixed. Right? In that case, what you have to do is you have to simply uh, write that common ratio whatever you are having and just write the x here and the y over here. Okay? 
So this means that what you're supposed to do in the solution of the problem, what you're supposed to do, you're supposed to write the path. So answer and say put x is equal to y square. See this is x is equal to y square and then put an m somewhere mx is equal to y square okay somewhere x because i want to uh, eliminate y square from this so i'll just put a m x is equal to y square when i do this what will happen so limit i'll not write who is going to change so wherever there is y square i'm going to put mx so what will i get here x into y square is mx and downstairs i have x square plus y raised to 4. What is y raised to 4? y square is mx. So what is y raised to 4? y raised to 4 matlab a y square it's square right. But what is y square? y square is mx. So it will become mx the whole square. Is anything common? What will be the limit now? Because there is only x in the picture. So I have x tending to 0. Which is limit x tending to 0 of m x square upon x square common into 1 plus m square and this x square x square will get, again get cancelled and what is the final limit that I am getting it is just m upon 1 plus m square because there was no x so I have this so what can I say about this limit again this limit also does not does not exist correct so let me try one more problem for you so that it will be more clear. So let me take limit x tending to x y tending to 0 0 of let us take x square let me take x cube y okay upon x raised to 6 plus y square okay. Now how will you do this? Can you see the logic? What is the ratio of x and y? The ratio of x and y is what? 3 is to 1. 3 is to 1. Here also it is what? 6 is to 2. 6 is to 2 means it's 6 upon 2 is the same as 3 upon 1. right? So yes, I can use now the, the numerator and denominator have powers which are in same ratios. So I can use my trick. What is the ratio that we obtain? The ratio that is obtained between numerator and denominator is 3 as to 1. So I will just write an x here and I will write a y. So what will be my substitution here now? Can you guess? So put what? Put x cube is equal to y. And then I will put m somewhere. Wherever you think simple it is, just put m somewhere. Wherever there is single power. Here I had a single power with x. So I put mx. And so this means here my substitution will be put x cube equal to my. So what will this limit now become? I will not write what is it equal to. So wherever x cube, put my. So here I have m y into y upon downstairs. If x cube is m y, what will be x raised to 6? It will be its square, right? It will be m y square plus y square is i. So now what is the limit of? Is it limit of x tending to 0 or y tending to 0? Everywhere there is y. So I will put y tending to 0 of limit. Don't cancel, don't put y equal to 0 directly. You will land into problems. Simplify that. So this will be m y square upon m y square plus y square. Take out m common from this. Uh, sorry, take y square common from this. When you take y square common, you will be left with what? y square into 1 m square plus 1 and limit y tending to 0. This will cancel and you will get how much? m upon m square plus 1. Again, this limit also depends on m. So it will not exist. So it does not exist. So I hope now this trick is clear to you. How will you choose this particular path? Let me repeat it. Here I have the ratio of 1 is to 2. Ratio of 2 upon 4 is also 1 is to 2. Here I have ratio 3 is to 1. 3 is to 6 upon 2 is also 3 is to 1. So both the ratios are same. 
you just write down the ratio suppose here it is 1 is to 2 here it is 3 is to 1 and then you have put here x this is the ratio of x this is the ratio of y this is for x and this is for y so substitution will be what substitution will be from this part put x equal to y square and then you put m anywhere what will be here put x cube equal to y and put m somewhere which is easy for you m here writing m is easy rather than writing m over here that's why i'm writing m which a per, to a person which is easy which is not a power of something so here there is no power of y so i'll put m here here also with x there was no power of x so i just substituted here added a m here so the path here becomes mx equal to y square the path here in this case becomes x equal to my so i hope these types of problems are now clear with you clear with you